Larry Lee from PC Junkie Mods here. I'm um, working on a new case. I've uh, been working on it for a couple weeks now. I got most of the mods done for it already. Um, this is the CM CS CSX Stacker. It is the Smooth Creations uh, limited edition paint job one uh, that used to be available on Newegg and I don't know where else uh, through CM through Cooler Master. Um, I've been wanting to do something to this for a while and I finally decided to take the plunge. Uh, I'll be putting uh, Asus, the Asus Maximus 4 formula or 5 formula motherboard in it and a 3770K and right now I'm waiting on some water cooling. Hopefully that'll come through uh, from EK. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyways, I just want to kind of touch base on what, what I've done to the case so far. Uh, in the front, as you can see, I've went ahead and made a new front for it. It will be, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a radiator there yet, but I'll be putting in the, the Bill Owen uh, 240 Nautilus uh, fan grill. These are sexy, you got to get one, by the way. So that'll be on the front. Um, and of course, it'll be behind the door, but when I'm at the show or whatever, I'll go ahead and open it up so people can see it or take the door off. And then uh, what, I, what also I, I've also done here is um, I haven't touched the wires yet, obviously. Let me go ahead and move the camera so you can, can kind of zoom in here and talk about it. So it's kind of bad lighting. Uh, so what, I, what I've done here is, let's see, go in. Okay, so on the floor I have, I've cut it out for a 480 rad. And that pretty much is barely fit in there, but it fits good, nice and snug. Right now I have some Cooler Master fans in there. Not sure what fans are going to go in there yet. Um, it came out pretty good originally. I was going to use a full aluminum piece to go over that and then hole saw out the holes for the, the actual fans. But there will be LED fans under there, and I can see I can see through it. You probably can't see through it in the video. Maybe you can kind of see the fans, but. Uh, when the when the LEDs light up, it'll look it'll look awesome. So uh, then, what I also did here is I went ahead and cut. As you can see, you can see the wires. So I cut away the whole five and a quarter section from top to bottom. Um, I think I left a little bit at the bottom, just for good measure, I guess you could say. Uh, it's not complete yet, but it's almost there. I gotta finish filing some edges. And then um, also, you'll notice. I'll go ahead and turn this a little bit. Also, you'll notice you don't see much light in in these areas here. Before, there was a space in between the motherboard tray and the five and a quarter. So what I did is I created a um, a little bezel piece that'll actually be where my E22 res is gonna mount right there, and um, behind it will be probably most likely the fan wires will run up there. The GPU wires will tie into the GPU. Motherboard um, 24 pin will come out of there also. And then also I put a piece of uh, aluminum that I had left over from uh, Cooler Master's Cosmos 2 door. So I cut that out and it fits perfect over that. And then um, what else did I do to this thing? And I also put a piece of aluminum here so it covers all the five and a quarter holes. As you can see there's a bunch of holes here. So there's a bunch of holes uh, where you would actually screw in your hard drives or your uh, actually your your opticals and then the drive bay, the hard drive bay cages that went in the bottom area. So then I also cut out. I haven't finished cutting my bezel piece, but on the back here you can see where I cut out a round hole here and a round hole here, and then I notched this. So what'll what'll happen is the power supply is mounted on the top. So I'll run my all my wires most likely through that, and then in through here to plug in or in through there to plug in so um, it's coming along it should be I'm just pretty much waiting on hardware now so once I get the hardware I should should get this done hopefully I'll have it done for land fest and I can take it with me that's what the goal is I also put some different feet on the bottom as you can see those are the sexy MMPC tech feet um, I'm a big fan of Bill's feet that he makes for the cases they come out, they make your case look really, really, really good. It's too bad my freaking camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. All right. 
and it's starting to focus there it is so anyways so um, yeah so I put those on and they, they raise it just high enough because the 480 is going to be underneath the case so um, it just just enough clearance originally I was going to put the wheels on it that come with the case but decided not to do that um, let me go ahead and pan this back out so so that's it for now I guess uh, once I get the rest of the hardware, I'll probably uh, put this sucker together, or maybe I'll do a video of me putting it together, I'm not sure. Um, I know a lot of people have asked me to do a video of building a full-on uh, PC from start to finish. I've been actually asked by Cooley Master, this isn't 100% sure yet, but to do a video segment with them on modding. So basically we would, from start to finish, do a mod um, and fully water-cooled PC. I, I think it's going to be fully water-cooled. And we're talking about using the, the Elite 120 case, so that's uh, going to be fun, you know, um, something small like that. But, um, so, as soon as I know when that's going to happen, I'll, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Um, I will be shooting it with Cooling Master. I'll shoot some of the B-roll here, and then most of the, the commentary and stuff will be done at their, their, uh, their office, so. Alrighty, well thanks for viewing my video, until next time.